Thanks for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Kaya Warnke. A 17-year-old Central High School student died Thursday morning after a two-car accident at the intersection of Tucker and Forsyth Roads. Nashandra Finney was riding in the front passenger seat of a Mazda Protege going south on Forsyth when a Toyota 4Runner pulled in front of her vehicle to turn left onto Tucker Road. Witnesses said it appeared both cars had a green light. A Bleckley County High School teacher has died after his house caught fire early Thursday morning. That happened about 6.30 on Hudson Jones Road. 67-year-old Larry Libby was inside when firefighters got there, but they were unable to rescue him. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. And West Bibb County will soon have a new fire station. That station built using SPLOST funds will be at the corner of Columbus and Heath Roads. Now, right now, the closest fire station is at the nearby corner of Thomaston and Price Roads. Construction is expected to start before this summer. And Macon police arrested the man wanted in a shooting from last Saturday. Roderick Lofton was charged with six counts of aggravated assault, one count of criminal gang activity. Police say he shot a young man near Freedom Park on January 5th. Lofton turned himself into police Thursday afternoon. Macon police also arrested a man they say harassed and sexually assaulted a woman downtown at the Dove Center on Hazel Street. 19-year-old Javorian Sims turned himself in Thursday afternoon. Sims is being held at the Bibb County LEC. Monroe County has won the latest battle in the border war with Bibb County. Monday, a Superior Court judge ordered that a recent survey that the Secretary of State originally disregarded in 2011 be used to determine where that line falls. The surveyor, Terry Scarborough, proved that his map of the land was based on historic record. President Jimmy Carter gave the keynote address for a naturalization ceremony Thursday afternoon. 34 new citizens from the Macon and Plains areas pledged allegiance for the first time as U.S. citizens. That ceremony was held at the Jimmy Carter Historic Center, which used to be the high school of the 39th president. Be sure to join us on the air tonight for the news at 6 and 11. It's Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody.